Hi, Unknown here, and today I'll be showing you every collection in Hypixel Skyblock. So I recently just unlocked the sand collection, so I'm just going to show you everything now that there's the fishing update, more collections. And yeah, I hope this guide will just help you out to just learn every collection. So yeah, let's just get started. So the first collection I'm going to start with is the farming collection because we're just going to go in order from farming to foraging. So the farming collection, the first one's the wheat. And mm -hmm. if you get 50 wheat, you can get the wheat with minion. It's just pretty simple, really easy. One of the first minions you'll probably get. And then the second wheat is the harvesting book which just doubles your chance of getting crops i think this can go up to five and then the third one is the farming suit set and it just increases your set your bonus speed by 20 percent and when you're in the farm you or the desert um the defense isn't really that great at all but might be like a first set you would want when you just start and then the wheat four gives you the farming tailspin recipe and then this is like just the same thing with the farming suit except you don't actually have to wear any armor and it's only a 10% in increase in speed so it's pretty cheap and might be actually useful and then the wheat 5 is enchanted bread, which increases the speed of your minion by 5% for 36 days. Uh, pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. And then the enchanted hail, which you, you can use to craft more things. Um, and the harvesting upgrade is coming soon. Um, so by the time you're watching this video, I have a lot of Anyway, the next one is the farming armor. And this is basically just the same thing as the farming suit, but it gives you a 5% increase in speed and has more health and defense. Uh, I'm not sure I would choose this armor though. It's not the best and it's kind of expensive. So plus 20 health and plus 75, that would be like plus 95 total. Like, And right now this armor. Um... Yeah, Hardened Diamond is probably better. Unless you want the bonus speed. Okay, anyways, the next one is the Carrot. To take the Carrot Minion, for the first Carrot one, you just need two stacks of Carrots. And then the second, Carrot 2 gives you pet food. It still is coming soon by when I'm recording this, so I'm not really sure what it does. And then the Catching Egg, uh, pretty mysterious, I have no idea what it does. But apparently there's a mega one and a super catcher, so we'll see soon. And then the enchanted carrot recipe, which I think you can use to upgrade the yeah, upgrade the minions. And then the enchanted carrot on a stick. I'm not sure. I think it's for one of the catching eggs, whatever that does. What if it's going to do? And the super catching it. Still not sure. The enchanted golden carrot, which can also be used as a minion upgrade to upgrade your minion. Really expensive though. Yeah, really expensive. And then the mega catching, which the carrot candy, and then the mega catching. So I have no idea what that is. Maybe it catches bombs. I have no idea. Okay, the next one is potato, potato recipes, potato mini and recipes, two sacks of potatoes. Uh, portal to the barn, which I wouldn't say it's pretty useful, I mean, I guess you could use it, but I would much rather use the mushroom desert portal, because you can still go from the mushroom desert to the uh, barn. And then... The potato 3 gives you vaccine talisman. Uh, this just gives you immunity to poison, which I don't find too useful. I could probably craft it right now, but I don't find much of a use for it. There's not many conditions 
other times you'll get poison, so... But it could be useful. And then the enchanted potato, which can be used as a minion upgrade. Right over here, all that. Okay. And then, the next one is the venomous potion, which... Great speed reduction in speed and deals damage over time. Which, if you make it as a splash potion, might be pretty useful against mobs. But ah, uh, I wouldn't say I would do that. Yeah, you could get venomous on the sword or something. So I wouldn't find it too useful. And the farming experience, potato six. Then potato seven gives you the baked potato recipe for the minions. And then the hot potato book, which is coming soon. I still have no idea what that is. And then last one's farming experience. Okay, the next one, pumpkin. Pumpkin minion. So you need 80 pumpkins. Oh. Yeah, you need 80 pumpkins. Make the pumpkin minion, it just gives you pumpkin chip. Then the pumpkin set, you unlock at pumpkin 2. Uh, it has a set bonus called pumpkin buff, which grants a plus 10% damage reduction against all damage sources and plus 10 damage. Uh, I wouldn't find it that good. Like, the protection isn't really too good, even with the plus 10% damage reduction. Because if you look here, Hardened Diamond Armor gives like a 79.4% damage reduction. I have no enchants, just a full set of Hardened Diamond. Not the best. Then Pumpkin 3 gives you 25 farming experience. Uh, still, maybe a bit useful. Not really that good. And then the Enchanted Pumpkin or Pumpkin 4 for the minions. And then the cubism, which you can put on a bow and it increases damage dealt to... Wait, no. Not a bow. You can do it on anything. Increases damage dealt to creepers, slimes, and magma cubes by 10%. And I think it goes up to 5 with a 50% increase, which... It's okay. It's pretty good. The farmer orb. Increase the regrowth rate of nearby crops on the public islands, regrowing an extra pump every 3 seconds, which... Wow, that's, uh, that is really expensive. I wouldn't call it good because it's on public islands and uh, I'm, people can get it, but mm, it might be useful. So this helmet gains, so the Pumpkin 7 rewards gives you the lantern helmet. And this helmet gains plus 2 defense for plus 4 and plus 4 HP for every farming skill level you have. Mmm, wow, that might actually be decent, actually pretty good. So right now, I'll have 100 health and 50 defense. That's actually really good. Pretty expensive, really expensive. Yeah, it's better than the hard environment. I'll be using it in a second. Farm crystal, which uh, can be placed on your island, and then increases the speed of far nearby farming minions by 10%. I honestly don't really use farming minions. I don't find that too useful. But I guess, wow, that's uh, really expensive. I don't think it's worth it. Honestly, I don't know. If you farm a lot, then maybe it is. Okay, pumpkin nine gives you just 5,000 farming experience. Oh, shit. Okay, melon. To get the melon minions, you just get 250 mel melons, and you need one, two, three, four stacks of melons. Which, I mean, the amount of melons you get for breaking a single block of melon is a lot. So it's kind of melon two plus 50 farming experience, plus 125 farming experience, and melon four gives you. Chained melon, all that for the minions. 
Okay, Enchanted Glistening Melon, again, I think that's for the minions, I'm not too sure. Enchanted Melon Block for the minions, more farming experience for Melon 7, and then just so on. 25,000 farming experience isn't bad, so it's actually really good. I think that might be worth it. And then the seeds, you just get this from breaking seeds, I guess. Double tall grass trades, dirt trades, clay trades. Um, I guess the clay trade might be useful instead of just keep on fishing. Yeah, that's cool. Dirt trade if you want grass or something like that. Clay, long grass. I don't know why you would want a long grass, but I guess you could have Dead bush. I don't know why you would want that, but then double, 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 double. Just, that's pretty much it. Nothing too good. I would say the best things are the dirt trade and the clay trade. But then the mushroom six. I was trying to get this up so I could get the night vision. Sure. But so for the mushroom one, it gives you mushroom minions. The rest of the mushroom minions. You need 80 red mushrooms and. The mushroom minion does give you brown mushrooms, but it's pretty much useless. You can only use brown mushrooms for a few things. You can't really upgrade your minion with brown mushrooms. It only uses red mushrooms. And then so on. Mushroom 2 gives you the mycelium tree. I'm not really too sure why you would want mycelium, but I don't know, maybe for decoration. And then the mushroom set, which is actually a really good starter set. I used to use it when I just started. Uh, it has 20 health, 10 health, 10 defense, 10 health, 5 defense, and then 15 health. Uh, and then the full set bonus is what really counts, night affinity. You can just get permanent night vision. And then during that night, the stats will triple. So this will be like... 30 health, 30 different defense, that would be like 60 in total, that's really good by the way. So I would definitely recommend this for beginners. It's not too hard to get, you just need to go to the mushroom desert and break down like 250 mushrooms. Then the magical mushroom zoo, which I covered it in uh, the past video, you get 2 minutes of flight, that's pretty much it. That's how you craft it. And then the brown mushroom block and the red mushroom block. I'm not too sure why you'd want this. Uh, maybe for decoration, but I don't honestly find it too useful. And then the enchanted red mushroom and the brown mushroom. I think it's for the minions. Oh uh, no. Okay, the night vision charm. You get a Mushroom 7, it's pretty cheap considering, like, how many mushrooms you get and how much time you need to actually unlock the recipe. Night Vision Charm gives you permanent Night Vision 1 while it's in a Talesman bag or your inventory. And then the Enchanted Brown Mushroom and the Red Mushroom block for... Mushroom egg, oh my gosh, this takes such a long time. And then bat pet egg. I'm so curious to find what the pet eggs do. But we'll just time will tell, I guess. Okay, the next one, next one is cocoa beans. Cocoa beans. Cocoa beans one. You get the recipe for the cocoa bean minion. You need 80 cocoa beans in a hole. Beans 2 gives you 20 farming experience, and then I feel like Cocoa Beans 3 is actually what matters. The portal to the Mushroom Island, which is really good if you just keep on going to the Mushroom Island, and you can go from the go to the barn and the farm from that. So yeah, it's pretty useful. And then the Enchanted Cocoa Bean for the minions. But 
gives more firing experience with five then six gives you enchanted cooking. I have no idea what this does. But it's pretty expensive. And then the Adria line potion. Oh my gosh. That's actually really good. Really good. But you need an enchanted cookie for that. To get an Adria line, I think. Five, you need an enchanted cookie. And it's really expensive. Just keep adding glowstone and eventually you get an angel line. Eight potion, which gives you 300 HP and 40 speed, which is kind of insane, but uh, I would say it's not worth the price. It only lasts for, it's only temporary, so. And then the rest is just fun experience. Okay, the next one, Cactus 5. So I was trying to get this collection up for the Desert Island, which is the, I think, the only way probably to get sand to unlock the whole collection. So I just recently did that. Cactus Minions just need like two stacks of cactus. And then the Cactus set, which. Uh, maybe if you're a beginner, you would want to. I wouldn't say it's too good. Mid level. Uh, 15 HP. No. Plus 5 HP. Plus 10 defense. So on. And then the full set bonus is Deflect. It's basically like a Thorns, but maybe more reliable. 33% of the damage you take back at your end. That might actually be really good. I'm not too sure. It's, it's just like Thorns. Basically. Next one is the resistance potion. Increases, Increases defense by 60. Wow, that's really expensive. I'm not gonna say it's worth it. I just don't really think many potions are worth it. Just for an enchanted cactus, you need a lot of cactus. And. A resistance aid potion increases your defense by 60. I think it's only temporary, I'm not sure. So, yeah, I don't think it's worth it. Okay, the next one is the Enchanted Cactus Green, which is basically used as a minion upgrade and all that stuff. Then, Piercing One, which makes it so your arrows travel through enemies. And then, I think it goes up to piercing. I don't know too much. Yeah. Then the arrows trail over through enemies and deals the extra hit targets. Hit take 25% of the damage and it goes up with piercing levels. I think. And then thorns one, which is a vanilla enchant. So if you want that, get the seven. There's an enchanted cactus, I think that's I think that's the one you can use for the resistance potion. And then XP. So the cactus nine. <gasps> it takes such a long time. Okay. I'm not even know. Sugar cane three. Now this is the site you can get this beast their armor, which yeah. Okay, the first one, Shurikane Minions, two stacks of Shurikane, it's only pretty good. And then Speed Talesman gives one speed when held. One speed, that's not even that worth it. But then, I guess you can upgrade it over soon. Okay, coming soon. Then. Speed artifact upgrade, that might be good. Lots of speed, okay. Sugar cane 3 gives you farming experience. Sugar cane 4 gives the shape of sugar, which can be used to, uh, I think, I'm not too sure, 
the upgrade her. Shuriken 5. It says coming soon, the upgrade for the Spear Talesman might actually be worth it after that upgrade. The Enchanted Bookshelf, which is good. <laughs> like, counts as 15 bookshelves when placed near an Enchanted I mean, it might be sort of expensive and all that expensive, but 15 bookshelves! And it's only one block. That, that's pretty but good. You don't have to spend so much on making bookshelves. And then Shurikane 7 is the Rainbow Book coming soon. I still don't know what that is. And then supposedly the artifact upgrade to upgrade the speed ring upgrade. Speed ring. And then the speedster. Which just. Uh, the defense is okay. It's the same as Heart and Diamond, so I would say it's pretty good. But then there's the bonus speed. The full set bonus was gives you plus 14 speed, and every set, every piece of this set gives you plus 4 speed. So you'd end up with 16 plus 17 percent speed permanently as long as you wear this. Set. I would say it's pretty good, but it's very expensive. Very expensive. You need eight enchanted shurikane for the chest plate. In every piece of enchanted shurikane, you need one. You need two and a half stacks of enchanted sugar. And every two, every piece of enchanted sugar, you need two and a half stacks of shurikane. So, yeah, it's pretty expensive. Okay, the next one. Feather 2. First one. There's no minion for feathers. That's the chicken minion. Chicken minion gives you feathers, which is a separate collection. Feather 1 gives you projectile protection. Feather 2 gives you a book of feather falling. Those are two vanilla enchants, so. Then, Feather 3 gives you archery potion. I don't find this potion. To use. Oh wait, never mind. That's over double the amount of damage. So say I have this Enderville, which isn't even that good. And if I have an Archery 3 potion, it would be 100 damage. Double the damage. I mean, maybe that would be good, but it's a potion, so I think it's temporary. Ah, not that good. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really think potions are worth it. Some potions, anyway. I mean, this might be worth it if you want to just kill, kill everything with your bow. I don't know. Okay, the feather four gives you the feather, feather tails, man. <sighs> it has an effect called light weight and it increases how high you can fall before taking da fall damage by five blocks. Uh, I mean, I guess it's okay, but I don't think it's that useful. And then enchant feather for the wings. And then aim one, which basically makes your arrows homing. Arrows home towards nearby monsters if they're hit within two blocks, and it goes up to five. Aim, aim five. Okay, Feather 7 gives you the Feather Ring, which is basically a better version of the Feather Tails Talisman. And then Snipe 1, the Feather 8, and it, the air reduce plus 1% damage for every 5 blocks traveled. So this could do, I guess, infinite damage. Some way it could do it if it travels five blocks, no, 25 blocks, it would do plus five percent. It's not that good, so snipe goes up to three. I mean, depending on if you're good at aiming, maybe combined with aim and might be good. I don't know. 
than the feather artifact, which is just a better version of the feather ring. And it's uh, expensive. Yeah, like everything. Two stacks of enchantment. Finally! Feathers open! Okay. Now the leather. leather. Now, probably one of the most useful things out of the leather are the backpacks, which you can open. It's like a shulker box, except you can carry it into your inventory and you can access when it's in, in your inventory. So, leather one, top of the stack of that. And then the cow head, which gives you pretty much immunity to every diva, but uh, only plus 10 health and plus 5 defense. I really don't think it's worth it. You probably won't get debuffed a lot, so yeah, I wouldn't say it's that worth it. Then the small backpack recipe, you need 250 leather for the three. And it's just a backpack that you can hold things in. Like I said, it's just like a shulker box, except you can access it from your inventory. Oh, okay, Enchanted Raw Beef. Yeah, it's like any other enchanted beef. Two and a half sets. Get this mini and upgrade. Yep. Okay. And leather 5 gives you the medium bag, which is double the small backpack. Has much lower, just pretty much it. Uh, Enchanted Leather, I think you can, you need, right, okay. the larger backpack needs Enchanted Leather, which is so expensive, like, unlike many Enchanted things, you need eight stacks of leather, or just one, and you need 18, so really expensive, but a full chest, a full small chest of storage, portal storage, I don't, I, wouldn't, I don't know if I it, but it's okay, I guess. And then the saddle. Um, I'm not sure what you can use the saddle for. Can you ride anything? I guess it works. I don't know. Okay, and then... Yeah. Well, there are nine which is the last one, gives you the horse mount tag, which is coming soon. So I have no idea what that does. Oh, okay, the next one. Raw pork chop. Okay, so the raw pork chops give you the best sword in the game. Uh, plus 200 damage. Plus, oh wait, it got debuffed. I, it was it used to be 200 strength. Okay, plus 200 damage, plus 100 crit. No, plus 200 damage, plus 100 strength. Five percent crit chance, and then 20 percent crit chance, and then burning souls. You form vortexes of flame, flame, and it gives you resistance one in attacking nearby enemies with a projectile dealing up. 75 damage over 5 seconds. And the rarity is legendary. It's really good. Like the best one in the game, I think. But a really expensive. 24 real. 48 real quick. That, that just. No. It's just too expensive. But it is the best one in the game, so I guess it's worth it. I don't know. Back on track. War raw pork shop two gives you burn experience. And then raw pork shop three gives you pig pet. Apparently when it comes to chin four. Need that to make a pigment tool and then maybe if you want to upgrade your pigment in. And then the piggy bank, which is actually particularly really useful. You can place this in your island and if you click it it makes a deposit in your account. Yeah, it's pretty useful, but, um, yeah, 40 chin. Um, sells for a good amount, though. 
those 500 farming experience for raw pork chop. Raw pork chop six. Raw pork chop pork chop seven gives you a raw pork recipe, which you need to make the pigment sword. And I think you can use that for an up. I'm not sure why you can use So expensive. Then the next one gives you pigment pet apparently when it comes. Might be pretty cool. <sighs> pigment sword. Yeah, that's what I explained is the best word in the game. Okay, I'm not even done with farming. Chicken. This is where you can get the chicken minion. Plus the stack of chicken. Raw chicken. 50. You need to kill 50 chickens to unlock the recipe. And then you can get our bridge egg, which is like this thing in Bed Wars. And it creates a path of stone blocks that travels through there. Yeah, that's pretty much true. So, eggs, like many people are having trouble getting them. And probably the best way chicken head plus 20 health. Just lays eggs when you sneak, which probably is like the only use. And then reduces fall damage by 5%. Eh. Okay. Unless you want eggs. And the enchanted egg upgrade is. makes it so. uh. it guarantees the chance that a chicken will drop an egg after they spawn. So you can, that's the best way to get eggs. Upgrade. Chicken pet eggs, still don't know what that is. Enchanted raw chicken, again, like any other enchanted thing. Enchanted cake, which I have no idea what that is. But it looks expensive. A jelly decoration. Speed boost and increases the chance for mobiles. Forty percent speed. That's like having a rogue sword two times. Increases the chance for a mob attacks to miss by forty percent. That's actually really good. But uh, there's a problem. You need enchanted cake. Uh, yeah. If you don't remember, this is the recipe. It's actually not too bad, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's the Jill Lady Potion and the Rain of Mag, which I would get now. So it's coming soon, hopefully it'll come soon. <sighs> okay, mudden. Like the same thing, you got a sheep minion, you got a stack of mudden and a sword. Need 50 men. And then apparently says coming soon. So many coming soon things. Furniture, stool furniture, small table, mana potion. So this might be an actual useful thing. Plus 400 mana. That's good. But then. In, in instant potion, but the mana five, oh. enchanted button. And then you need enchanted cooked button, which uses like two and a half stacks of enchanted button, and you can use that for three potions. But then it gives you four hundred mana. I don't, I'm not sure if that's worth it, but it might help in some cases. <sighs> okay, chain of mutton, as I said. Two and a half stacks of mutton. Rainbow one, which is probably like the most useless enchantment I've ever heard of. And it basically causes shape to drop a random wool color when she is. That's like useless 
why would you want that? I'm cold. No idea what that is. Okay, the next one, Raw Rabbit 1. Rabbit. Mini Rabbit gives you rabbit minion recipes. Same thing. You need a stack of rabbit, raw rabbits, which means you need to kill 64 innocent rabbits that did nothing to you. But it it, it doesn't even give you that much good of good stuff. This collection. Rabbit pet egg. Which I don't know why you would want a rabbit pet, but uh I guess I guess this thing it's gonna be. Increases jump boost and that might actually be useful to get fairy souls if you don't wanna use ender pearls. And jump over something. It's, jump it's, it's not it's not even I wouldn't say worth it. It's just, it's just not. I don't, I don't, I don't know. And then luck, which is a good enchantment if you're looking for a quick way to get lapis armor or miner's armor of any kind of armor that a monster drops. It goes up to five with a 25% chance. It increases 25% chance. I think you can. I think you can use it on a sword or something. Uh, I see it is just enchant with a book or uh, enchant a table. Chain a rabbit hide, which oh my gosh. And look on this. Increase the chance of fishing treasure by one percent. So it gives you twenty five percent. I'm not sure. And then you need like I don't know, like 16 if you want to get 5 or something. <sighs> and then the luck tails name, come use it again. And then farming experience, which. Uh, I don't know. Okay, finally the last one. I think this is supposed to be an alchemy collection, but then it would be the only thing in the alchemy collection, so we added to the farming collection. It actually is kind of farming, so. Netherwar minions. Yay. You need 80 and a pickaxe. I don't know. You need to sow sand for this, so. Kinda expensive if you wanna actually use it. Because. There's like one. I'm going to get Give you another word, so then the bag upgrade, which you can store potions in. I don't even know why you would want that, but okay. Potion affinity basically increases the effect, the uh, duration of potions by 10%, which might actually be worth it. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. And then. The top one, which is the artifact one, gives 50% bonus, so it's really good, but, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, medium potion bag. I don't know why would you want it, but, okay. Plus 500 alchemy experience. Another word 6. Another word 7 is the ring, which is basically a better version of the Kalawas Palace Man. In the large potion bag, I still don't know why you'd want that. But then the potion of any art artifact, which is pretty good, pretty expensive. Everything in this game. Finally, finished with farming. Oh, that took such a long time, and it's like. 40 minute video. You know, I'm just gonna leave this like part one and then we're gonna make like one, two, three, five, five parts for each collection. I don't know, maybe I'll make this Okay, well, uh, see you. Just thank you so much if you actually listen to me talking about that. Uh, it's such, such, such a long time. 
40 minutes for one clock shin. But uh, anyways, thanks for um, thanks for watching my video if it actually took the time to watch it. But um, anyways, hope you uh, found it at least a bit useful. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye. Have a good time. Consider liking and subscribing because uh, why not?